What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, so my voice is deeper than it usually is. Uh, you can see we have the Jeep back in the shop. It's not broken or anything. Actually, we are uh, gonna be redoing my uh, windshield tint. The tint I put on, perfectly fine. Don't have a problem with it. 50% uh, across the entire thing. And then we have 5% sun bar across the top. Some of you are probably gonna ask, why are you gonna redo it? And it comes down to personal preference. We actually used a new film called Dub Film uh, that we were testing mm -hmm. out. Uh, so since we had so much extra of it, we decided to uh, you know test it out on the Jeep and see how well it worked. So the Dub IR is like a ceramic film, so it keeps a lot of heat out from the sun. Uh, I noticed it in the summer, uh, the day after that I put it on, uh, the amount of heat that it kept out of my Wrangler was so impressive. Like, you know how at the end of the day, you kind of, you know, go into your car and you're just like not looking forward to getting in it. And it just like hits you in the face. Like when you open an oven and you're, you have to roll all the windows down and cool it down, crank the AC. Ceramic film helps reject some of that heat coming from the sun and it does a very, very good job with it. So why am I replacing it? Since I do window tint uh, as part of my job and pretty much do it daily, I did notice a few things with this film that I didn't like. Because it's right in front of me all day when I'm driving, I did notice that uh, there is a blue tinge to it and especially if you catch it at the right light, uh, it does have kind of like a, I would almost say like a fog to it uh, that is kind of bluish. Uh, it kind of bothers me. And it, I know it's just a small thing that bothers me and it, it's just that blue tinge to it. But also on the side doors, if you catch it at the right light, when you open it up, it also does have kind of like a like a brown haze to it, especially because this is so dark, this is 5%. But uh, in a sunny day and you open this up, if you catch it, you know, at the right light, this is like all the way brown. You can't even see through it, honestly. If you ever put on like Rain-X on your car, it's almost like that, but like a brown version of that. I don't, it's just, again, comes down to personal preference. So today we are going to redo the windshield and the visor as well as one more little thing that I'm gonna add for myself. Uh, we're not gonna worry about this right now, but the main thing that we're going to worry about today is the windshield. We have our steamer over here heating up. Uh, that helps with you know removing the tint. If you guys don't know how to remove tint, uh, if you take a steamer to it, it loosens up the glue that holds on the window tint and makes it so much easier to peel. And that way also, if you're just peeling the tint without, the steam, it just leaves a ton of glue all over that you have to scrape off with a razor blade and it's kind of a pain. So my Jeep. <coughs> so on the Jeep, um, I actually like to take the top off because it's actually easier to install the windshield when you just lift it up over and then just put it right on the inside. Uh, obviously because it's a Jeep, you can do that. Uh, any other car, uh, you would just kind of go through the, the side door here, but this makes it a lot easier. Not looking forward to this because I did such a good job on this window, but we're gonna make it better. So if you do it right and you keep steaming it, you can see how easily this peels off, peels off and doesn't leave any glue. It actually all sticks to the tint. So use a lot of steam. Or another technique I've seen is uh, spray a bunch of water on it, especially if it's a hot day. Bunch of water and then a black garbage bag and the heat from the sun will heat up the tint and uh, pretty much give it a steam bath. Tint on this side all fogged up because of the steam. This is half the windshield. And then there is the clear windshield with no tint. So you can see, well, a little bit of a difference with the 50%. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but this is just a little bit more blue and it just bothers me. And you can see this is uh, crystal clear, obviously because it's the factory window. And after I put the Lumar on, you guys will see how clear this Lumar actually is as well. Just like that, we got the whole entire windshield off in one piece. Steam is the major factor here. If you guys do not see Ryan, he's over here using steam to get his visor off. 
If you don't use steam, it's gonna peel off in like little pieces and chunks. It's gonna really, you know, kind of make you mad. So anybody that was asking me uh, in my last video what film I used, I used Dub IR. What I'm switching to is the film that I am most familiar with, my favorite brand of film, Lumar. We're not sponsored by Lumar by any means, but uh, they just make such a great product. It's crystal clear. You can see right through it. There's no browning, uh, anything like that. If you go to AutoZone and you get like the Gila film, that stuff will turn purple in like a month. So this stuff is guaranteed not to change color in the sun. Like I said, not sponsored by them. I've just been using their product for years and I just absolutely love it. For people that don't know how tin is installed, you shrink it to the outside of the vehicle. That way you are forming it to the shape of the glass. And then you take it and put it on the inside of the windshield to install it. So no, the tint does not go on the outside. You just use the outside to shrink it to the form of the windshield. We are going to throw the tin up here, shrink it, and then we'll go back inside, clean our window one more time on the inside, make sure it is just absolutely crystal clear, especially right in front of the driver, because if you miss a spec and you know it's there, that'll bother you every time you get in your car. We're here at the computer. Uh, if you look here, this is another reason why we love Lumar. Their software has so much. Actually, it's almost every single uh, car that you can think of. It has all of the window patterns. I was actually trained in hand cutting uh, tint. I did that for the first three years of uh, you know me doing window tint. Uh, but this actually takes uh, that you know to a whole new precision. I mean everything is precisely cut to every window. Uh, and if there's a problem, we just you know call up Ilumar and tell them that there's a different measurement. So we have our Jeep Wrangler four door utility 2018 to 2019. Now this one has the old body style on here as well. Uh, so these are all the JK windows and these are the new body style. So this is everything JL and pretty impressed. They have a sun bar here, which they didn't have last time. I actually hand cut my own sun bar because there wasn't a pattern for that. You can see how clear this Lumar film is. It's you know 50%. It's pretty. It's pretty much see-through. Uh, you can see the difference between here's no glass with no tint, and then 50%. Uh, so it darkens it just a little bit, ups the reflectivity. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and install the upper sunbar now. Next day here, it was a little dark outside to even show you guys the tint and how dark it was. Um, but we have it finished. Uh, it's been setting up for pretty much 24 hours now. I went with the same setup I had before. So I have 50% uh, across the entire windshield. Uh, and then you can see here, that is where the 5% strip starts across the top. And the thing I was going to add for myself was another strip across the bottom there. Um, but it just came up too far because what I wanted to do was because of the LED bar that's mounted right here, 
Well, when it shoots the light, a lot of it hits the hood here, and it just, it's pretty bright, and uh, I feel like a lot of it is reflecting off of that hood. But I wanted to put another 5% bar across the bottom to kind of alleviate when I'm using that. Um, but also, I think it kind of gives it a cool look. The only thing is, from the inside, uh, it really only gave me like what it felt like, you know, three inches to see out of. But that might be something I do a little bit later. Now, like I said before, this window tint is personal preference. We're using the, the Dub IR film. It was good film, kept out the heat a lot. Uh, this, you know, having ceramic film does make a huge difference and I'm sure if you live in a hotter climate like Texas or Florida you will I mean you will notice the difference on how much heat it actually keeps out of your vehicle. I made the switch to Lumar because I just think that it's a little bit clear visually for me. Again I've been using their products for you know over five years now. Uh, now the benefits to having ceramic film as opposed to regular window tint. It blocks IR, it blocks UV, which are both harmful for your skin. But one of the biggest and main reasons people buy ceramic film is because of the heat rejection. Again, I've tested this out when I had the dub on there. Literally the next day, it was the same temperature outside. I went out to my Jeep after you know working all day, opened the door, and I didn't get hit with a heat wave like an oven. It actually was very noticeably cooler inside my Jeep than it was the day before. So this is my view from inside the cab here. So we have 50% across the windshield, which is pretty much clear. Um, I didn't want to go too dark because it'd pretty much be hard to see out of during the night. Uh, I do have a 5% bar on top. Uh, and then here's the comparison between the 5 and 50. Uh, and also, you can see I didn't actually redo my front two windows just yet. My sun bar is the Lumar film, and on the front window is the Dub IR. So you can see it's pretty clear. It has a little bit of a bluish tint, but it's mostly just dark charcoal colored. Uh, and on the Dub IR, this camera seems to be picking it up pretty well. Uh, the Dub IR is pretty brown compared to the Lumar. So again, that's just one reason why I like the Lumar film compared to the Dub is because I like the clear vision that I have through here. But yeah, as I was saying before with the light bar, when I turn the light bar on, it lights up pretty much all of this you know, the hood here because, you know, the light bar is mounted pretty far back and pretty low. So to alleviate that from my perspective, I would have to have a sun bar that comes up pretty much to like right here. So you can see, I mean, it only leaves about, you know, six inches or so of 50% on the windshield. So I think that would look pretty goofy from the outside, but um, I may do that uh, later down the road, maybe just a smaller, smaller one down here. So that way I don't get as much of that uh, hood glare off the LED bar. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little bit more about ceramic film, uh, window tint. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of window tint. How dark would you go on your car? And would you choose ceramic or would you just go with the regular film? Don't forget we're giving away that Jeep JK blackout grill at 5,000 subscribers. We're only like I think like 1,500 away guys. So if we can get 1,500 more subscribers, I will be choosing one of you to receive that blackout grill. Get down there and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one.